لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك وأتم الحج والعمرة لله and complete the Hajj and Umrah for Allah. Assalamu alaikum daily reminder. This is your brother Ali Janver. Continuing with our series on things to do after you have completed the rites of Umrah. And this is by the way for people who are doing Umrah or doing Hajj or even if they're you know at home they're not going for Umrah or Hajj it applies for all okay but particularly for the ones who are going for Umrah and Hajj this is something really interesting my recommendation is try to get the reward of lots of Hajj and Umrah while you're there doing Hajj and Umrah what do I mean by this well there's a hadith a very beautiful authentic hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he says من صلى الغدات في جماعة ثم قعد يذكر الله حتى تطلع الشمس. The person who prays Fajr in congregation. Then he sits and he remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. حتى تطلع الشمس until the sun rises. ثم صلى ركعتين. Then he prays two rak'ahs. The salah is called salat al-duha. كانت له كأجر حجة وعمرة تامة تامة. The Prophet repeated it three times. What is his reward? His reward is like the reward of Hajj and Umrah completely, completely, completely. SubhanAllah, such a beautiful hadith. Let's recap what he said. He said, the person who prays Fajr in congregation. So that refers to point number one. Making sure that we're praying all of our prayers in congregation, in the haram, making sure none of them are missed. Once we prayed Fajr in the congregation, then what's next? ثُمَّ قَعَدَ يَذْكُرُ اللَّهِ Then this person doesn't get up and go. He sits and he remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are certain things that the Prophet ﷺ would say after every salah. Like he would say, Allahu Akbar, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Allah is the greatest. I ask, Allah's, I ask for Allah's forgiveness three times. Then he would read Ayatul Kursi. He would say Subhanallah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, Allahu Akbar 33 times. Uh, there are certain supplications that he would make after every salah. Likewise, there were certain words of remembrance that the Prophet ﷺ would say after Fajr and after Asr, in the mornings and in the evenings. And certain supplications that he would make after Fajr, you know, in the mornings, and after Asr in the evenings. This, these were something that is, this was a habit of the Prophet ﷺ. He would do this very, very frequently. And there are books written, you know, The Fortress of the Muslim is a really good one. Make dua.com is a good free resource that compile all these uh, remembrances, the words of remembrance, supplications in a very nice, uh, you know, package. So what I encourage is that if you don't know these words, we don't know these supplications. We take the print out of these words from the website. We take the book Fortress of the Muslim with us. We pray Fajr in Jama'ah. Then we sit there and we open this book and we start reading the same supplications the Prophet ﷺ read. Probably in that same place, in the Haram. SubhanAllah, what a beautiful, you know, such, such a beautiful image there. They were praying in the Haram where the Prophet used to pray. And we're making those same du'as, those same remembrances the Prophet ﷺ made in the Haram as well. And then we continue until the sun rises. We sit there, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may read those du'as, we're done with those du'as, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever we want, we read Quran, we keep ourselves busy until the sun rises. Then about 15 minutes after the sun has risen, 15 to 20 minutes, when you can feel the warmth of the sun, we pray two rak'ahs. Two rak'ahs is called Salat al-Duha, and completing upon completion of this, the reward of this action is as if we've performed 
a hajj and an umrah so immense it is so immense anybody can do do this you could do this tomorrow right but particularly for the ones who are going for umrah and hajj this is an opportunity that cannot be missed because the ajr is so great i ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the opportunity to pray the salah in jama'ah particularly fajr and then to sit there and remember him and until the sun rises and then leave after praying two rak'ahs so we can get this immense ajr every day. Ameen Ya Rabb. Jazakumullah khair for listen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.